Hi guys, this is Jason here from the Nathaniel School of Music and the piano faculty. And in this song, What Child Is This? There are three techniques, again, which you could make use of. The first technique is more of a technique used by flamenco guitarists and harp players. So if you take a chord, D minor, Instead of playing it um, the way it's normally played uh, without the melody, what you do is you stress on the melody which is F. And at the first beat of every bar, what I'm doing is to play the entire chord with the tune focused on the top end. And what this technique allows you to do is it allows your left hand to be a lot more flexible and not have the burden of playing chords as it usually ends up doing. So you could start by playing something simple but yet full in the lower register. As you know, playing a chord all the way down here is not going to sound nice. It will sound very muddy and cluttered, which is why uh, another advantage of this technique is it allows you to play a lot more cleaner, at the same time a lot more fuller, because you are playing really low as well as giving the sound of the chord out and highlighting the melody. So here's the technique again with the left hand moving around a little bit more. Um, another technique which I use quite often is uh, something used uh, while composing parts for an orchestra or a choir. So basically not always does the other parts uh, need to f follow the main melody line. So in this case I have a part going down where the melody or what they call the soprano goes up. Or you can keep the harmony as it is without moving it. So this is a technique called counterpoint which is used for orchestration and uh, choral arrangements which is quite useful and I've used it in two places prominently in this piece one in the beginning and then at the end with the bass with the bass line That's a passing note. And what I'm also doing is where the melody re remains as it is. Mm -hmm. 
as an ending you could play around with the thirds in this scale which is d minor and while the melody line remains as d options with uh, thirds you can feel free to experiment whichever sounds good to you so hope you found that tip useful and uh, if you have any questions regarding uh, any of the instructional videos please send a comment over on our youtube channel and we encourage you to subscribe to our channel which is youtube.com forward slash nathaniel school where you will find a lot of tutorials which are with all our other instruments as well guitar bass drums and vocals um and you can also watch some of our faculty and students performing as well so head over to our youtube channel please subscribe and uh, share the channel to your friends cheers